Perfect. So the uh, the artist uh, kind of has open doors. He's kind of a fortunate person. So you're you're dining with the the governor one night, and the next night you're you're talking to people in the streets. You know, it's it's quite a it's a it's a very rich way to uh, to live, actually. Yeah, you have and, many uh, stories. You know, yeah, ups and downs. Well, your stories, stories you have a lot to do. It's, it's really, uh, well, I could tell stories for days, but uh, it's really quite, it's really quite fun. <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's that side to it as well, and uh, it, 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 it broadens you because you deal with different levels of people. And so, as I, as I say, you know, you, you diplomats one day, and the next day you're, you're talking. You know, you know, I've been stuck in the parking lot in the supermarket one time, and I met. Some really interesting people, you know. And we sort of set up a, actually a course in the middle of the supermarket where lots of people were coming to talk to. It was quite, it, 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 that was quite, 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 quite a challenge. But, uh, so different things happen. Tell and us the, the story of the, tell us the story of the, what was it, the Virgin Mary or the Madonna that was in the village that you had to repair? <laughs> Well, somebody somebody got too close to the Madonna in the village down below. It's a small village, and we always thought that we were too bright anyway. <laughs> you know, that's the way they think. Of. And uh, so somebody lit the candle too close to the Virgin. They were all made out of wood, and they had these robes on. And so, boom, she went up like a flash, you know, and, of course, it, it damaged her. And uh, she, uh, the face, everything's, everything's wooden. And, uh, of course, it took a little scorching and all that stuff. So they, the whole village come prancing out to bring it up to me. To see if I could do something with it, and so I said, "Well, I'll give it a try," because it was pretty, pretty badly damaged. And so I did. I went after it, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a serious way, and uh, and I repaired it. They could tell it was even damaged, and uh, so then uh, the reward was when they went to pick it up, the entire village came up, and they came up with little teeny uh, plastic bags full of money for me. I, I was, I was, you know, willing to do it for nothing, and uh, so I have some pictures of that, which are a little bit rude there because I, I have it. Laying out on a couple of uh, horses and uh, uh, you know so these things blocks and block up and I'm like that. Not to be standing on her tummy, working on her on her on her face, you know, doing delicate work and all that. So it was. I have, I have some pictures of that. It looks it looks like, like non-religious, busy busy actually putting her back in shape for the village, and it was quite, quite sort of half amusement and half reality. Yeah, again, we're talking about a time that was, you know, in the 1980s, and it was a whole different world. I think the bars just started to get TVs installed in the mm-hmm. bars because you said yeah. in the old days the men would sit around playing dominoes. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Like, there was a, uh, there were there were things they did together, you know, and then they spent a lot of time on benches talking and so forth. And television was a, uh, I'd, I'd say, kind of destructive in a way. You know, it wasn't it wasn't. It wasn't enlightening. It was just, you know, tempting you to buy this and buy that, and and then the phony news and all that sort of thing. It was, was it wasn't a plus for these people because some of them are fairly simple, and so they they were getting all the information from the television. And that's that's where, that's where the way to go. Really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're talking about a time which wasn't that long ago, but it really was now. I mean, now it's a whole different. Spain's different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the internet know. changed everything. Yeah, and, uh, so I was very uh, fortunate it, to be able to to be there with you. Well, it was uh, it was it was uh, you know, you really felt you were doing something because it gave people a different point of view, and uh, so that's the whole point was to see things in a little different way, and that, that's that's what I that's what I help people do. So you know, and it wasn't kind of a preaching thing in any in anything. It's just that we just did everything a little differently, and. Uh, and they, they really enjoyed it. Too. The, the food was different. You know, we did vegetarian food. We did yoga in the morning and uh, things that they'd never even heard of. And uh, it went over you know, very well, actually, but quite successful. Yeah. People would, come and look for a, people would come and look for a really unique fortnight, as they say there. Yeah. And, well, they you, and you attracted quite a, quite a cast of characters. Again, they're from South America and Denmark oh, yeah. and England, and you get yeah, right. you get some really you get some real eccentrics yeah. coming to visit you. <laughs> no, no, that was that was part of the fun, you know. So Finland and all kinds <laughs> of it was it was really uh, really amazing, and uh, then they they brought in good energy, and uh, 
a lot of curiosity and uh, it was ex- it's extremely international and so or non-national and so it was, uh, it was, it was you know it's it really actually a rather clean way to get educated what I try to present you know so I, I like it was yeah yeah you really have hello? to give these pre hello yeah hello, you hi. really have to give you really... hi this is this is Khalil who's Khalil. It's um, hmm. it's call, I'm calling from four three four Charlottesville, Virginia. You guys are psychic yeah. show? No, not tonight. Not tonight. Well, no, we're, you know, we're not having a psychic show tonight. That's for another night. Oh, sorry. We're, we're talk- <laughs> That's okay. Call back next time. <laughs> hey, Jack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, so yeah. So the psychic, again, another another department. <laughs> Maybe you could have done a psychic reading for him, Jack. Huh? The thing is that you uh, you project your head on it. And I think the artist is usually a little on on the top of some of these things and uh, still doing some thinking because they're not moved all the time by the media and everything so much. You know, that's 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 important. You, know, you can kind of see through the falsehood, which is okay, a great deal of it. You know, you know, it's a yeah. it's a kind of a low low dip in terms of the uh, the popular media. I think, you know. Okay, I think I'll now apologize. it's time to bring T. That's okay. Yeah, TJ, I think. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, go ahead, Rich. I love hearing you talk to your uncle. That's so nice. I apologize what? to you. Oh, no, that's okay. I think it's your time, TJ, to ask Jack questions. I think you would bring a fresh set of questions to him. Well, Jack, uh, can you hear me okay? My voice coming through for you. What's that, what's that again? I didn't get that. Jack, okay, can you yeah. hear TJ? TJ is going to talk to you and ask you a few questions. She's the one who's producing the show tonight. She's in Florida, and she wants to mm-hmm. ask you some questions. She's been an artist. She's been a musician. She loves artists, and she loves spiritual growth, and she's a very yeah. good psychic and she uh, reads from a tarot deck, and she's very, very good with her archetype work. So she wants to just ask you some questions. I promise they'll be friendly, and I just want her to take a a different uh, slant because Rich and I both know you, but she has her own opinions about what what should be recorded for posterity in documenting your oral history. Okay, I'm going to mute myself. Okay, okay, I'll do that. And what's her name? Uh, hi, Teresa, but uh, you're familiar with, my name's Teresa Jeanette, but I use my initials, Jack, TJ, instead hey, TJ, of Teresa yeah. Jeanette. Yeah, TJ. Okay. Okay. Now, were, were you born in America for uh, this recording? This is, you know, so we can get some buried details, like I'm an investigative reporter not just an right. artist or a songwriter, uh, but uh, the kind of art I started with was landscaping. But uh, I'd like to know, you're an American artist, so that would be what I would be wanting to know. Are you born in America, or were you born in the old country? No, I was born in America, yeah. I was born in Long Beach, California. Oh, you're a Californian, another one. Okay, I don't meet very many of those. <laughs> okay. Well, All yeah, right. It's pretty, it's pretty weird, I'm and uh, I've noticed that for your age, 89 years old, would you mind sharing your birth date so we can get it right in Wikipedia? Well, I'm, I'm not too interested in that, of course. That's not my I'm, I'm, I'm like 40. I don't, I don't think in ages. Otherwise, I'd be old. No. May May eleventh, nineteen thirty one. Exactly. Great. Yeah, okay, with, I'm hoping that uh, our Ace Folk Life people can help us get you a Wikipedia done. I didn't notice if there was one. Did uh, Did you know Jack? Were you ever put in Wikipedia? No, he isn't. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so uh, you've been able to help us worldwide and sell a lot of your paintings. Uh, do you know how many are left in existence that we could make G clays out of? Uh, can you tell? Give me an idea how many are left uh, that are still, you know, where we can get copies. In other words, 
Well, well, yeah, I think it's on the, uh, no, on the internet like that, under Rutherford Jack, I believe there's, uh, there's copies, there's a uh, sort of website. It's on, uh, I'm not too sure, but it's on Google and on, on a couple of things there. And uh, there's, there's a, a whole other thing. That, huh? Two houses full, two houses full of art. He very carefully did not sell his originals unless he had to. He sold copies. So he has two houses full, maybe three houses full of art, plenty yeah, of yeah, art. Yeah. That's, that's so what true, type? Yeah. Is it portraits, landscapes, uh, certain countries? Give us an idea of what's left in your library. I'm going to ask real strange questions, but these are more for the long haul for all of us that do uh, investigative journalist work, and we do archiving. So uh, give us an idea of how many and how would you like to classify yourself? So are you a portrait, landscape, everything no, Explain no, I'm, 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 sort of, I'm actually, I'm actually everything because I'm sort of interested in all the different aspects of it. So I do figure, I do most, most of my work's rather conceptual. In other words, I do things which uh, have some kind of a, uh, a solid, solid feeling to them, which has some content. That's that's much most important to me. So, uh, so if I do even a portrait or something like that, I, I put, I put the type of slant on it that, that makes it real to me anyway, and. Uh, so it's uh it's, it's I actually I'm very versatile. I just uh, I do all sorts of things, any kind of art. I do sculpture, I do uh, clay work, and I do uh, bronze, and I do uh, printing as well, etching and dry point. And I, I try all the different media and everything. So I, I I'm I move around and I try to I try to master everything I can get a get a hold of it as a mode of expression. As a master, how many different uh... Genres are what would you call that? Because you mentioned bronze, and I remember my father worked in copper or something on wood. I don't know if you went through that era where putting taking copper tin. He learned in high school in the fifties or forties, forties, I guess. Uh, what I don't even know what that is. But how many genres can we archive for you? And and has your family archived your type of art? Because that's going to be their their. Uh, Foundation of financial support, I would imagine, if you have grandchildren. Perhaps, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. But the, the main thing is, it's uh, it's very versatile, and so uh, and it's conceptual, and so uh, well, actually, sometimes you do something that's quite timely, or something about the age, you know, the uh, situation of a certain period, and I'll do, I'll do satires on it as well, and critical things, and uh, so, and at the same time, behind it all, I, I sort of. Uh, Really, sort of uh, working on the on the spiritual side of it. I'm always interested in, you know, the uh, the expansion of somebody's consciousness. So I feel kind of responsible for it when I do it. Spiritual and yeah. consciousness. You, and you call yourself a conceptual artist, so you do individual pieces. Uh, are you still uh, able to use your hands and your eyes to still do this? Or do you oh, need yes. assistance? No, no, I, I do. I do it myself, actually. So I can I do a sculpture, just finished piece of sculpture, and uh, uh, no, whatever comes up, I usually take it on myself. Or if I have something like you know, clay things to work with, I take it to a foundry. Then I go in and I finish it up, make sure it's right, and so forth. So I, I ba- basically do it all myself. But naturally, you you work with uh, different skilled people, like at the foundry especially, and. Uh, so, so uh, I guess I do have help, you know, and you learn each time you, you you get involved with that sort of thing, and you you, you learn how they do it. You, you hang around the foundry and you see what the process is, and uh, so I, I I enjoy to keep learning. Do you have a Do you have a book uh, of list of the types? Uh, let's say so many marble pieces or so many sculptures. <laughs> So many mm. ceramic, so many canvas, oils, watercolor. You know where I'm going with this? You yes, have a list? I do, yes. Well, I do. I work in all the different media. So like in, in wood, I did a wood sculpture that's been carried in a village in in, uh, in Spain. Uh, that's a life size type of thing. And then I do the uh, 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 bronze. And I've done also that sort of things which I thought were sort of suitable for a uh, centerpiece for some of the kind of applause and things like that. Because, uh, blonde, of course, it starts with clay and, and uh, 